Change your diet, change your life, change the planet. Hey, it's TVO coming to you from a boot run in Woodford. I'm taking a little break right now because I'm having a uh, 127 hours moment. I am deep in the woods, in the wilderness, off trail. Not on a trail, I'm just running through the woods in the snow. And I stepped in a hole and now my big boot is stuck between, I'm thinking two rocks and I can't get it out. And I started to panic a bit because even though it's almost 80 degrees in Bennington right now, it's quite a bit colder up here and the snow that I'm sitting on is taking the moisture out of me. So instead of fighting, which is what I tried to do when it first happened, to rip my foot out, I just sat down, calmed myself down, looked around, got grounded, enjoying the sound of the brook going by. So I thought I would take this time to explain to you why I'm not down in Bennington on safe roads running in shorts and no shirt but instead I'm up here running through the snow and now trapped in the middle of the woods where I may not escape from. The simple answer is that I'm injured. I developed an Achilles slash heel injury late March of last year and did a lot of mountain training and just kept injuring it and kept injuring it and took time off, went to PT, kept injuring it and then finally after the uh, world championships in I think it was beginning of September, I just stopped running. Stopped. I didn't run for months. I didn't start running again until January, and that was only because I was preparing for the U.S. Snowshoe Championships. Not to race in them, but preparing the course. I would go run out and then do trail work, and then run to the next section that needed work, and then run back. That was my training. And even though I had taken so much time off from running, I still had this problem. It didn't go away. So now, as I'm trying to get back into racing shape again, I can't run on the roads. In fact, I really can't run using a normal stride. The only thing that keeps me from injuring it again is to run really slow in big, heavy boots in awkward terrain like this. My runs are between 15 and 17 minute mile pace. So I may go three to four miles in an hour. Uh, we're not talking fast running, but it's really difficult. It's really challenging aerobically. It's challenging my legs, my hips, my butt. Uh, it's really building up strength and endurance because I'm running for an hour through challenging conditions. So I'm not really concerned about how much ground I'm covering. I just want to do something that's really challenging to increase my fitness that isn't going to aggravate the Achilles. So that's one of the reasons that I come up here and play in the snow every day. Uh, so that I can keep training without getting hurt because once the snow is gone I've got to find another way to really challenge myself without moving quickly So uh, let's see what that is. I'm also wearing a boot at night that keeps my ankle in a flexed position uh, Because normally when your toes point under the blankets that shortens your Achilles So it gets shorter overnight, so you want to keep it stretched So there's different kinds of boots that you can wear uh, while you sleep to keep your uh, Achilles lengthened so it doesn't shorten and that definitely helps. I can walk when I get up in the morning. For most of last year I'd wake up and I wouldn't be able to walk. So that's definitely helping. I'm also doing eccentric strength on the leg. Like instead of calf raises, their calf lowers. Where I stand on a step and I raise myself up with my good leg and then I lower myself down below the step with the bad leg. So I'm building the strength on the eccentric lengthening rather than on the concentric contraction. So I'm not strengthening on the way up, I'm strengthening on the way down. All right? And that might all be moot because that bad leg is now stuck in a hole and I may not be able to get it out. Uh, I don't know what I'm gonna do. I should probably attend to that now. Let's take a look. All right, so here's the hole and I can't, I can't get the boot off. And there's water running through there. I'm stepped in a stream, I guess. And no matter which way I twist it, it doesn't want to come. And due to the angle, the boot won't come off my foot. Um, and it also doesn't come out of the hole. I don't even know how it went in there. With a lot of force, I guess. That's my afternoon. Stuck in a hole in the middle of the woods. If you see this video, that means I made it out alive. If you don't see this video, soon, perhaps there'll be a movie about it where I chew off my leg. 
<laughs> but hopefully it takes a lot less than 127 hours to get out of here. Because <laughs> I'd probably freeze to death first. Oh, and my foot's getting wet in the stream. All right, I gotta deal with this. See ya. Yay! Took me about 20 minutes, but I have escaped. I am alive! Ooh, it's green under there, under the snow.